Hello everyone, welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. In this my 21st flight, I'm going to fly from Venice to Innsbruck in a Dornier DO328, which is like this. There's a freeware one, and I've decided to go with the Air Alps uh, livery. It seemed appropriate since we're going to go to Innsbruck. And uh, yeah, even an Austrian flag on the tail. So all good and appropriate. And uh, yeah, the cockpit is as you see it. Again, freeware, so pretty good for that. And uh, we are continuing with the Apollo 12 audio. And uh, Pete Conrad and Al Bean are on the surface of the moon where we left them. And they were getting ready for their EVA outside. I believe we didn't start that yet. So let me press play and hopefully we'll get into the EVA a little bit. And the EVA, uh, on their first moonwalk will take probably more than one flight. Uh, this is Apollo Control at 113 hours, 53 so, minutes. So, with that. For the uh, benefit of those persons in the news center at MSC. Here we go. Who are viewing the map on the television screen. The, the limb location now has been moved up to the present best estimate of the interesting sort of location. short thin wing for this the body the looks huge by comparison to the wing head crater passing 400 ag okay well this is an interesting Confirmed. Okay, okay, I don't Lapse. need, I don't need that. I don't, Zero. no, no. Please don't do that anymore. Features, I swear, sometimes I don't need the features. So again, Venice is to our left. I guess we can fly over one more time. I bet it's a little bit messed up because of the autogen. I wonder what would happen if, well, if I turn off the, because uh, there's no separate autogen versus static uh, scenery objects slider. It all goes together. If you look at the uh, head crater, we suspect they're on the northwest rim of head crater. That's, uh, I wish we could separate them out and have a separate slider for each, but that's not the case. Roger, Interpret, standing by. I think they're talking about the comm checks in their EVA suits. We're about 30 minutes behind the timeline. They're always behind. The well, okay. Uh, at least Apollo 11 was behind the timeline, and so it, it's like it seems pretty normal to be behind the timeline. This is Apollo Control at 114 hours, 7 minutes. Flight Director Jerry Griffin expects. The modulate FM and coming up with Maybe that's that's a good way of going. Close, and uh, we'll be coming at you in a minute. Roger, Intrepid, standing by. Jerry Griffin expects that we may make up some of this uh, time that has been lost during some of the communications checks uh, and other checks. Been, past experience has been that those checks have not taken as long as uh, have been programmed. We essentially uh, got 30 minutes behind when the crew uh, spent a little more time than scheduled in uh, describing the area in an attempt to locate the lamb. Which was important, so... Box. And full increase on the sensitivity. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. VHFA, I know, VHFA transmit. VHFB receive, audio LMT. S band to TR, ICS to TR. Relay on, mode box, box sense max. VHFA transmit receive, VHFB receive. 
Get ready for the calm. VHF voice. On. Off. On. Off. I. Range off reset. 12 JMB, noise threshold, plus one and one half. Well, looking pretty good. Mm, red line seems to be at 270. Oh, it'll start throttling down now. And seems to need a little bit of a... Uh, Aileron trim too. Okay, recorder on. EHF antenna to EVA. Uplink 12 enabled. LMP connect to flip com. CB audio. This is looking nice and crisp on the ground textures because I turned off most of the autogen, I think. Okay, it doesn't look yeah, too bad with the autogen on, but it looks fine without the autogen right now at this height. Oops, some other rustling sounds on the tape. I hear you loud clear. Okay, note on so flip antenna if not transmit garbles or lost CM. Okay, I'm gonna go to uh my split. Hold the card for me. Well, they're certainly going through it quickly. Like they they heard the PAO talking about being behind schedule and everything. Telemetry data from the uh, backpacks, the portable life support systems, looks good. The Alps at a distance. I think that's Dick Gordon. So he's saying he spotted Surveyor. Clipper Houston, uh, we copy that. Uh, Houston and Well, he spied Intrepid in record time. Copy, uh, one crater diameter to the north. Is that a firm? If you recall, Mike Collins could not spot Apollo 11. But then again, they landed long and nowhere near where they were supposed to go. Roger. This was a pinpoint landing for science. Say 
I thought he already said he could see Surveyor. Maybe, well, anyway. Surveyor's pretty small. So this plane, uh, the engines are 2,180 horsepower. It says the cruise speed is 335 knots. And range is 1,000 nautical miles. Produced in the nineties. Roger Clipper, that sounds good. I thought we heard that bit before. Or maybe it was while I was editing it. Hello, Houston, Intrepid, how do you read? Intrepid, Houston, we read you loud and clear. Okay, do you read the how? Negative. Al, we read you very weak in the background. Al, give us a short count. That was a weird sound. Okay, Al's audio is not working. <laughs> Al, we read you uh, partially on the last part of that count with a uh, loud hum in the background. How do you read now? I think we're loud out. and clear, Al. All right. These are clouds baked into the tops of these mountains. Not actually snow. <laughs> Let's go. You gotta be kidding. That's right. right. Wait a minute. Go back to me. Okay, we're gonna complete the pump. Go to A. That's what it was, B. Yeah. Go to A. Loud clear, babe. Loud clear. Go to, go to uh, B. Oh, that's better. Go to B. Loud clear. Okay. Okay, go to AR. AR. How do you hear me? Loud and clear. How do you hear, Houston? In traffic, we read you loud and clear, and uh, for your info, Clipper got a visual on you, and he also picked up Surveyor. Hi. Hey, Hey, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go to AR. Loud Quantity is uh, like 90, Houston. 90%. 90%. Okay, CB, comp, CB, copy, copy 90 both. Okay, okay uh, did he tell you how far, uh, did he have the lamp in the surveyor? Okay, Houston, 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 Okay, 
Don't have anything specific on this valley. We see there. River seems to be called Fluma Brenta. Pretty small looking. Houston, go ahead. Roger, good Yankee Clipper. Have us both at the section at the same time, over. Roger, that's affirmative. Uh, he got you uh, between Head Crater and uh, Surveyor Crater, slightly north. We actually need to go a little bit further north, going a bit northwest here. Got lots and lots of peaks on the map, don't know which ones are important. Monte Casaletto? Passing right by. Sima right Trento. Is uh, probably that peak right there, the white capped one. Sima Trento. Okay, I got one more snap. Can you bend over it? That's it, easy. Okay, I got you. I know two O's. Cable. But yeah, none of them strike me as familiar. Trying to figure okay, out what first. town that is. Next actuated RCU, which you did snap O C S O two O's the side of plus, which I did. Suit isolation valve, suit disconnect on the LMP. There you go. Okay. Can I do it? Doesn't seem like it's particularly I big. Let me get up there. There's a bunch of small town names, and then uh, the big, biggest one maybe Cavalese, maybe. Oops, going that way again. Maybe some aileron trim would be good. Got in the front view of this very often. Okay. 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 
Okay, same thing. Lean over and let me get you clear. Right, I'm just gonna squat down like this. You can get all of it. Okay. That's a good way to do it. Time I'll fuel up on the drinking water. All right. Sun changing weather. Seems that way. I got the feeling we're going to put an LSAP package out. Okay, stand up. Okay. Not a lot of room. Suddenly yep. clouds. Okay, here's one for over your head. Off to right okay. is Balzano, but so we can't really see it very well right now. And here comes your exhaust. Speed 033. Man, there's a lot of water in those hoses. Hey, Houston, uh, you read uh, Intrepid? Intrepid, Roger. We copy uh, your comment on water in the hoses. Yeah, it's just that the air seems to be extremely cold coming in, at least. Uh, the uh, inlet hose is quite cold, and uh, some moisture is condensed out in it. Anything else seems okay. Roger. That's tricky. That looks like Tell me, is that anything you expected, or...? What's that? That OPS position right there. I think we got some of the flight director loop there. Okay, that's good. Okay, and that's he's asking a question I want to know, too, so good locked. times. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. I think, I don't know if you might recall Luca Parmitano, I think it was, who had a... Who had water accumulation in his suit during an ISS spacewalk. And that was potentially life-threatening if it had gone too far. Of course, they didn't let it go too far, but it's not a trivial thing. Don't want to drown That's in your spacesuit. That's a Pete Conrad laugh. That's a Pete Conrad laugh. That I swear the PAOs uh, really enjoy these guys. Okay, position Mike. That 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 that's such a great. Hold on, can I get that again? That's a Pete Conrad laugh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep. Water off. That H two O is off. Okay, position Mike. There's okay. something automatically relaxing yep. about having Pete That's Conrad better. in charge of a yep. mission. Okay, mine's on. And flag on the clear. Don't have my supervisors. Okay, let me get your helmet for you. Stay right where you are. This will probably be a fairly short flight because we're more than halfway there already. Okay. Your head. Next one will be longer. Next one will be to Stuttgart and there will be a glass here. And not a particularly fast glass here either. I think glass here is like kit planes but I forget. Or could be kit planes. As far as Air Alps, I don't know if it still operates. But my fan is running. 
or if it's uh, it was a real thing. Headquarters in Austria, as the little flag on the tail indicated. Uh, founded in 1998, ceased operations 2013, unfortunately. Temporarily, also KLM Alps. They flew a uh, route. Uh, they had a Innsbruck Zurich route. I don't think they had a Innsbruck Vienna route. Let me see. They had Vienna to other places though. Vienna to Munich. So, I mean, clearly, clearly what went wrong was they didn't have the Innsbruck to Vienna route. <laughs> clearly. Stuff is looking a little bit better around here now. Might want to get some better photo scenery for the stuff that passed there. That I could do with an update. This looks like a higher level, maybe. Okay, let's slow down. We're about to enter Austria. Oop. Bit of a hiccup. And it's the thin panda panhandle part of Austria. Still not there yet, though. Okay. Looks like uh, we'll only start the EVA yeah. maybe in the next flight. I get this oh, suddenly clouds again. That fan is not running like it should. Got to raise your kitchen gear on, let's see. Yeah, I know. It happened to me once before. I left a piece of paper in the put uh, LIOH canister. Could check that if it did. Gonna be mighty unhappy. Okay, we do this. You gotta wipe yours off. Okay, that's not a good thing. LiOH is lithium hydroxide. It's the CO2 scrubber to clean out the CO2. Open that thing up, pull that canister all the way out of there. Look in there, make sure there isn't something in there. That's exactly what happened the last time. Got Clean and put the canister back in, lock the door. Locked. So now we're Attaboy. in Austria. Uh, pull up more. Let's not tempt the mesh. Passing 400 AG. Uh, no, not really. No, no. Oh, jeez. I told you I didn't need you again. 
Uh, I think we're gonna need to put some extra throttle into it yeah, to get above these the guys. But I, get my glove on first. I shouldn't have started descending yet. Go on, put your back into it. Yeah, I'm running the trip. Cut this way this time. And that stuff. I'll just keep climbing. I don't trust pretty the mountains. Good, pretty good. Okay. See how it works this trip. Went out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everything's working. Crazy. Nice little valley. Oh. Everything looks good, Houston. Actually, I think we can take that valley to Innsbruck. Double check my helmet down, Leo. You bet. It's not locked. That'll be a better deal than having to okay. surmount it's more mountains. Well. Okay. So we do Oh, flaps? What? Look, I have my flaps up. I've had my flaps up for a long time now. Hate when it does that. It's right over here. Over here. There's right there. Wow, silver speed, honestly. Wait a minute. You want to get your feet out of the way or you want to leave right where they are? Okay, let's try and get below these things. We're heading right in the middle of the valley, so we should be safe. I don't, uh, again, we have bad distance effects, though. Yeah, which one do we have to do? Because of the clouds, it looks like. Oh, and choppiness. The choppiness will resolve soon, I think. It's these clouds. That isn't going to make things better. Copy, stand by. Alright, things are shaping up a little bit better. Stick, let's go with the color exterior. So we're headed towards the A13 right now. Stick, go with the color exterior for the next pass. Color exterior. We're going along the B183 highway. the way it's rendering up ahead there. Stupid low-level clouds. So uh, this little bend here is the A13, so we're going to hang a left, follow that up into Innsbruck. Oh, I wonder why it bends like this. I guess it was bending around that little town. Oh, let's get the buildings in now. I guess it was bent, uh, going around this town or something. And then it has a tunnel to not disturb this town. Okay. Lucky town. Schoenberg im Stubaital. I can't Hold pronounce up, that. Hold up your purse and wait a minute. Let me get all this out first. Out and about. Pretty sure if there's flickeriness, it's because of cloud layers. Mist layers. Okay, what does it say next? And we need a set of gloves. That up ahead must be in script. Yankee Clipper, Houston, one minute to LOS. 
and we'll be giving you a P-22 pad at AOS. Quite a plateau we've got here. All these little towns up here overlooking Innsbruck. And that's another cloud layer thing going on to the left there. Yankee Clipper, Houston, 30 seconds to LOS. choppy all right now I'll tone it down I guess yeah yeah wow that really cut out too many buildings though <laughs> it was looking nice someday someday I'll be able to run a flight simulator of some sort at max settings before the next one comes out <laughs> But now, now they're gonna have uh, the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then that's gonna, and then yeah, <sighs> never-ending story. Before you cover your wrist, let me check your lock. Check mine. Okay, we're going in opposite the direction of the airport. I'm gonna have to turn around. So, back in the cockpit. Gonna be pretty close to flap speed soon. I don't know what's happened to our flaps exactly. Uh, here's one notch of flaps. See the runway there. Okay. Move more flaps. Okay, now hold on. Let's see. Give me a shot of cold water here. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit imbalanced. Uh, I think it's manageable. Okay. I mean, I think Let's it's because of the flap issue. Okay. You can see if I let go of the stick, it tends to the right. Gonna try and correct with uh, aileron trim. Still doing it though. Yeah, it's ha uh, it can be handled. Fine. I haven't got the flaps all the way down. Disconnect. Let me disconnect yours. Okay. I have to turn this way. I did. Okay. So I can move pictures. It's a bit wobbly. Whoa, what's that sound anyway? I mean, it, it seemed to increase in RPM just before I landed for some reason and it caught me by surprise. I don't know why it did that, but okay. Ground effect? I don't know. I don't even need to apply brakes it feels like. Um, let's take this taxiway. Whoa, it's wobbly. It's, it's wobbly. Oh god, what the heck? Did I lose something? Hold on. Uh, 
Oh, it feels like I lost something on landing. Yeah, definitely. Well, it definitely feels like that now. Um. Okay, hold on. I don't know. It shouldn't have been tilting like that. Should it have? Maybe the wheelbase is rather thin, but there isn't a whole lot of outboard Based weight, to on be Dick honest. Gordon's report, we now hmm. believe Strange. to be on the northwest rim of the surveyor crater, uh, approximately 600 feet well, from the surveyor. Not exactly the landing I was going for. Let me pause the audio. They're, they're, they're not outside yet. So we'll get the EVA next time. But, uh, yep. The Dornier 328. Don't know what else to say. <laughs> well, we made it to Innsbruck. The landing was a bit sloppy. Not entirely sure what was up with that. Maybe I made a mistake. But anyway, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.